that corals have been around for hundreds of millions of years. And across that time scale, we also know that the position of the continents on our planet has changed. All of these environmental conditions that I've mentioned before, light, salinity, nutrients, temperature, are all influenced by ocean currents and water depth. So this means that over time, where reefs occur has changed. And in fact, some of the reefs that were living under the ocean millions of years ago now occur on land, such as those examples I showed you from the Pilbara region in Western Australia. Another thing to keep in mind is that the height of the ocean also changes over time. And in fact, about 20,000 years ago, the sea was 130 meters lower than it is today. You can see this fluctuating height of sea level over time in this graph here. On the x-axis we have time in thousands of years before present, and on the y-axis we have the height of the sea. Zero here means that the sea is at the same height as it is today. About 20,000 years ago we see that sea levels were much lower than they were today. And if you think about that, that means that the position of reefs is likely to have changed over time. So areas that are underwater now would have been emerged or out of the water 20,000 years ago. So scientists have done a lot of study of the Great Barrier Reef and what the history of the Great Barrier Reef has been over time. And that's what you're looking at in these images here. We're showing areas of dry land and how that's changed over the past 20,000 years as sea level has changed. So 20,000 years ago, when sea levels were around 135 meters lower than today, most of the Great Barrier Reef was actually dry land. When sea levels were 40 meters lower than they were today, you can still see there would have been areas of coral reef in these white areas where it was ocean, but also the position of the coastline is moved much further out than it is currently. So you can see over time, the position of the Great Barrier Reef has changed as the sea levels has moved up and down. And in fact, the Great Barrier Reef as it exists today is approximately 6,000 years old because that's the period over which sea level has been relatively stable in our recent history. So we can actually see these ancient platforms of reef during these periods of different sea level being actually preserved on the ocean floor. These are some images from some underwater scans, which are showing us the position of the substratum deep under the reef as it is today. And this is from Hydrographer's Passage near the southern part of the Great Barrier Reef. You can see that these distinct reef platforms showing evidence of where sea level was stabilized over the history of the reef. So that history of sea level change remains preserved on the ocean floor.